piece. So uh, today I'm going to uh, unbox uh, this. This one is the Co-Reader Automotive uh, Check Engine Light OBD2 uh, Scanner by uh, Roman Dees. The model number is the RD100 Car Scanner Diagnostic Tool Auto Re and Eraser Engine 40 uh, Codes for all vehicles after uh, 1996 uh, models. So I would like to give the shout out to Anne from their marketing team for uh, sending me this uh, unit so I could do the unboxing and a quick review on this unit. So this one has a full OBD2 which is allow you to uh, recode, check uh, engine light, clear uh, check engine light, freeze uh, frame, auto monitor test, DTC uh, lookup, erase codes, live data, I am readiness, onboard monitoring, and uh, vehicle information. So with this uh, RD100, you could uh, turn off uh, check engine light, pass a uh, smog test, check and monitor your vehicle. This uh, unit is compatible with most uh, vehicle that's made in uh, US based or uh, EU based or Asian based. Anyway, let's go ahead and then, uh, open this up and show you guys the unit. And uh, this one's uh, made in China. Go ahead and open this up. And come with the user uh, manual guide. So it is a pretty uh, nice uh, unit and small and compact. It's OBD2 uh, connector. Come with this uh, Velcro. Strap your cable. And the button is pretty uh, tactile. So you just need to plug this one in to your OBD2 and power on. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and then, uh, do some tests on this. So let's go ahead and then, uh, connect this to the vehicle and check out the engine code. All right, so we're gonna test out this uh, Ramon uh on this uh, 2007 uh, Rabbit. So first of all, you need to find the OBD2 uh, port. Normally it's uh, under the steering uh, wheel column, so you're gonna go under it. And then there is the port right there. We're gonna plug it in. Alright, so the Reader is on right now, but we gotta turn the key to ignition on, but without starting the car. Right now the engine, uh, right now the dashboard is off, or the car is off. Can leave it on. And on the reader, we're going to press uh, enter. It's the 
is uh, I'm going to click on diagnostic. It says uh, erase previous uh, store data to save data from this test. Uh, I'm not going to erase it because no. So if you try to pass a small, it shows you what's the incomplete, what's not incomplete. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on the recode. So there's no code. Gonna go escape to go back. It's pending code. No pending code. Let's go and then uh, I am uh, readiness. That is for the smog check. So it says uh, catalyst monitor. It is uh, incomplete. Uh, that is due to because uh, I unplugged the battery and then plug the battery back in. Because uh, once that has been clear. Which is, uh, when you disconnect the battery, you clear your, uh, ECM. You need to do some, uh, drive cycle in order to pass it. And then the EVAP, uh, system monitor is incomplete. Second, uh, air, uh, system is incomplete. Oxygen sensor monitor is, uh, incomplete. And then oxygen sensor HTR is incomplete. So normally those are, you need to do the drive cycle unless uh, your oxygen sensor it is bad. Uh, you could do the O2 uh, monitor test. And then there's an onboard monitor uh, test, component test, vehicle information, module present, unit of measurement, and then back to the home page again. See the onboard monitor test real quick. So right here, you could do the CADIS uh, monitoring. EVAP. Purge flow monitoring. And then O2 uh, heater monitoring. So it's a bank one, sensor one, bank one, sensor two, bank one, sensor three, second air, misfire, cylinder. So this one is uh, five cylinder. So you got one, two, three, four, five. All right, so yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video, and uh, please uh, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop any comments on below. And uh, be sure to check out the links I'm gonna showing within the description, so you could uh, check out this uh, affordable uh, scan tool, right? Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next uh, video, like always. Peace.